Hello, everyone. I'm going to be going over the popular FizzBuzz coding challenge. Um, so this is the idea here is we're going to write a short program that prints each number from 1 to 100 on a new line. If the number is a multiple of 3, print Fizz. If the number is a multiple of 5, print Buzz. Then if it's a multiple of 3 and 5, we're going to print FizzBuzz. So um, start with, let's just get a uh, 1 to 100. Um, so I'm going to use range to do that. 4i in range. 1, 2, 101. And let's just print i and make sure that works. Um, so 100. 1 to 100. So that all looks good. Now I have these three conditions that I need to check for. I need if it's a check for if it's a multiple of 3. I need to check if it's a multiple of 5. And I need to check if it's a multiple of 3 and 5. And um, these are three separate conditions. And once so if it's a multiple of three, I don't want I don't want it to check if it's a multiple of five as well. I I'll want to uh, check each of these individually. So I'm going to do it if, elif, uh, and then else. And I will sh I'll show you what what happens if I don't do it that way. So let's first start with this this condition because it's checking both of them. So if a number is divisible by three and five, or is a multiple of three and five, it's a multiple of fifteen. So I'm going to use the modular to check this. So if i modular 15 is equal to 0, print. And I'm going to do an f string um, just to verify what I'm doing. Um, and then i. So it'll print fizzbuzz and then i. And then else print i. So it hits it at 15, it hits it at 30, it hits it at 45, et cetera. So that all looks good. Um, now I'm going to do a elif i modular 3 is equal to 0. Uh, print is, and do an f string as well. So three, six, nine. Uh, you notice it does not hit this because it hits. It goes to this condition because this is an LF. It's not going to go to this condition. Um, and then do another LF. I modular five is equal to zero. Print and then F string again. Buzz. And we see buzz is at five, ten. 20, et cetera. Um, but let's say, what if I did a if statement here instead of an LF? Um, so like, yeah, here's an example. When it gets to 15, it prints fizzbuzz and fizz. Um, so it, it first it checks this condition and it meets this condition. So then because the rest of this, um, there, this is now no longer an elif. It's an if statement, so it's going to check this as well. And so it checks this, and it's not. This does not meet this condition, but this does meet that condition. So it it prints buzz as well. Um, so so you do want to do a elif there. Um, and let's remove the i. Our f string. So there we go. Um, to take it a step further, um, something I would uh, recommend is making it into a function. Um, I think this will make your code stand out a little bit more. Um, and you can also put in some arguments. Um, so fizzbuzz, um, I'm going to put in start. So this is where. Um, the start of the fizzbuzz is we they specified one to a hundred so we can put in some arguments there to start um, and then change it if needed um, and then something really good to do with any sort of function is add a doc string um, I like the Google doc string format um, so when you have a well, have a function um, you start out with just a little quick summary of what it does. You have arguments and you have what it returns. So I'm going to do that. 
Um, function to solve the fizz buzz coding challenge problem. Um, next, we put in the arguments. Um, start um, number to start the fizz buzz problem at default is one stop number to stop the fizz buzz problem at default is 100 um and then what is it returns it returns nothing um nothing um prints the output so um let's just I'm just going to put a pass in here to start. If we take a look at the fizzbuzz um, and take a look at the doc string. So now if I was going to use this function, I have all this information to me, uh, which is really helpful. And uh, it really does make your code stand out. Um, so I'm going to be doing the same thing, but for I in range uh, start and stop plus one. Um, if I modular 15 is equal to zero, print is buzz LF I modular three equals zero, print is LF I modular five is equal to zero, print buzz else print i. So let's run that. So we can run that like that. We could also, if we wanted to do, let's do 11 to 23. So we could also do fizzbuzz just from, from this range as well. So I, th I think this makes it stand out a little bit more. And um, especially in a coding challenge where you're looking to stand out a little bit, like spending, taking the time to, uh, um, add a doc string and make a function, I think would be a great use of your time. Um, but hopefully this was uh, useful for you and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.